look, I'm really sorry, there's, there's no skit, this, there's no time for a skit, this got dropped on me, look, I don't even have time to explain why I don't have time to explain. Hey Collective Bros, welcome to another unboxing with me, Shinobi Nando. Today is a bit of a surprise one, I, I wasn't expecting to be doing this one today. Uh, we're doing the Destiny 2 Beyond Light Stranger Edition. For those of you that watch the What's in the Box, you'll know that Destiny 2 Beyond Light actually comes with two collector's editions. If you want to go check out the other one, that's not out till November, please go check out the card. Be there, be there. I'll put a link in the description. Anyways, this one's going to be pretty short and sweet, so let's check out the unboxing. First of all, I want to apologize for the lighting and how echoey this is. Like I said in the opening, uh, this was kind of just surprisingly dropped on me, so let's do this. Right, so we've got the stranger there in her box. Uh, it's a bit reflective, sorry guys. You can see the box art there, all the different languages. Is this a numskull is an EU company. 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 cent, 25 centimeters. Yep, that's right, 25 centimeters for the rest of the world. Beyond light. Now let's open her up. Oh, there's so much tape. Why? Something very annoying I noticed is mine actually came a little bit damaged. Let's sigh. Size in European. Right, okay, and is there gonna be any more tape? Oh, piece of plastic, okay, that's nothing important. No tape! Yay, numbskulls, no tape! We have her there. Take the little plastic baggie off. And, oh boy, oh boy. There she is in all her glory. The Exo Stranger with the no time to explain exotic pulse rifle on their back. That's the Destiny 2 version by the looks of it. Possibly with the ornament, ornament on there. The detail is really, really good. This feels like an action figure again. It's not articulated though, so it's not an action figure. There's her face. They did the face really, really well. Uh, I said in the what's in the box. Oh, look, the, look at the little detail there, like the whole you see a hole in the cloak, the tearing. It's worn. Instead of the books in the box, a lot of these characters outside of like Japanese anime games, the, the, their faces are always messed up. This one's actually screen accurate. It's a bit pointy, a bit pointy. And yeah, that's really detailed. You could see on the bottom here, I'll try to get some better shots, uh, the footprints in the snow. The snow of Europa. And there she is, guys. She doesn't have time to explain why she doesn't have time to explain. So that's the Stranger Edition for Destiny 2 Beyond Light. My final thoughts on this is, it's pretty decent, it's a pretty good statue. Who is this for? This is for those of you who don't like the, the in-game replica kind of collector's editions that Bungie Store is kind of known for doing. It's more for those of you who, who obviously, well, first and foremost, you're fans of probably the first Destiny game because it's the Stranger. And secondly, you like your statues, you like your figurines. I personally really, really like Destiny's kind of in-game items. Uh, I, if you're a regular to my channel, you know this, I'm an absolute sucker for a collector's edition that has in-game items as a replica. Why am I, why am I, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna put you down. The closest we ever had is the Ghost Edition from Destiny 1. Uh, the last couple of collector's editions have all been in-game items, the Strange Coin, the cryptograph, soon to be uh, the explorer's bag and the 
Shard of Darkness. But then again, this isn't made by Bungie. This is made by Numskull Designs. Now, the quality of the statue is really, really good. As I said in the unboxing, it's very figurine-esque. What I mean by that is it, it looks like a, you know, an action figure. Obviously, it doesn't articulate. This was £60 here in the UK. You can buy this separately from the game, much like you can the actual proper collector's edition for Beyond Light. Obviously, this version ships early if you did pre-order it or are going to pre-order it now that you've seen this video. To come along with the game, that will ship at a later date with the code. I actually love the attention to detail on the, on this figurine. You saw in the unboxing, it has like holes in the cape. If the no time to explain on the stranger's back. Bungie just released footage of what that rifle is going to do in the new game. So you could check that out. It looks like it's going to fire a little companion. Much like this, the, the spark that's generated from the Warlock's Riff on the Arc class. So guys, again, if you want a figurine rather than an in-game replica, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to one of the collector's editions, definitely check out Numskull Design's Stranger Edition. And don't forget to subscribe because I will be unboxing the full Beyond Light collector's edition from the Bungie store here on the channel. As usual, give the video a like, especially if you enjoyed the unboxing. Sorry that it was more B-roll heavy. There's not a lot to this one. It is literally just the statue. I already have the in-game items. Again, I showed that off in the what's in the box, which you can check out. Card incoming, end card, or link in the description. I put it somewhere. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, there's a new teleport ability. I should do a teleport. I don't have time. I don't have time.